The code challenge today is called Coffee Shop. And the idea is that there is a coffee shop that only accepts exact change. So we can buy an Americano for £2.20, a latte for two thirty, a flat white for two forty, and filter for three fifty. If we give the exact change, then we get here is your type of coffee. Have a nice day. Otherwise, it says, sorry, exact change only. Try again tomorrow. So let's get started. I know we're going to need this list here, so we can copy that into our file. And we're going to want this text, so we'll copy that. And we're going to want this text, so let's copy that. And there are several ways to do this, so I'm actually going to show three different ways, and you can kind of pick what you like. So we'll call this one Coffee One, and that's going to take an amount, so this is going to be the amount of money we have. And we know we want to return one of these labels if we have the right amount of money, or this text if we don't. So first, let's do this with a switch statement. So we can switch on the amount. And if we have 220, then we know this is going to be an Americano. So let's create a drink type, which will start off as null. And if we have 220, then our drink type will be set to Americano. And then we want to make sure to break so that we don't fall down to the next case. Okay, next, if we have 230, then we can set our drink type to latte and remember to break and then we can do this the same way for the next two with 240 being flat white and 350 being filter okay now that we have our drink type here if we have a drink type then we can return this text here so we're going to return this. Uh, we just called it drink type here. If our drink type is null, though, then we'll return, sorry, exact change only. Try again tomorrow. OK, now let's try this out by calling it. We have coffee one with 220. We can call it for each one of the types, 230, 240, 350. And if we don't have exact change, so it is so say we have $1.10, then it should return, sorry, exact change only. And we'll have to log all these, so console.log. Okay, now let's run that. And here we have Americano, Latte, Flat Weight, Filter, and sorry, exact change only. Try again tomorrow. So great, that's one way we could do it. Now, if you don't like the switch case statement, you could also do this with just if statements. So let's copy this. We'll call this one coffee two, and we'll do the exact same thing, but we'll just have if statements. So if amount equals 220, then set the drink type to Americano, and we're gonna do the same thing for each of the cases. 230, it's latte. 240 is flat white. And 350 is filter. And then we can get rid of this here. And we have the exact same logic, just with if statements instead of case statements. So now we can call coffee2. And it should return the exact same thing, which it does. OK, now, if you don't like these if statements, there is even one more possibly cleaner way to do it. So let's copy this into coffee3. And instead of if statements here, let's define an object. And we're going to set the keys to be the price and the drink type to be the strings. So we have Americano, and then we'll have 230, 240, 350. Then we have Latte, Flat White, and Filter. And here we can set the drink type to that object that object and the uh, and we'll select the amount so this is going to select the correct amount return the string and this should if we call coffee 3 now return the exact same thing which it does so we've done this three different ways and there's one last thing we should talk about which is we're using numbers here for amounts so currency which is actually not a good idea to do in javascript because float numbers are not exact in javascript and so you may want to do this 
a different way. So amount could be a string. Maybe you want to do that instead. Or you could want to return pennies and pounds separately. So a few different ways to do it. Don't use floats for currency, though, in the real world. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.